Master Trainers. A one on one battle between two Pokemon of the same species and only one can be victorious. Master Trainers add a level of challenge to Pokemon Let's Go's post game and in this series I aim to defeat them all and gain the title of Grand Master. Let's do this. Hello and welcome back to my Road to Grandmaster series. In this episode we are going to be fighting and defeating the Master Trainers for Jinx, Electabuzz and Magmar. So Jinx can be found in the Seafoam Islands. The quickest way to get there is to go right from Cinnabar Island through Route 20 and then in the entrance on that side. Uh, the other way is to go down from Fuchsia City through Route 19 onto Route 20 and then there's another entrance at the end of that route. They can be found on every floor of the Seafoam Islands from floor 1 to floor 7 and they're a 14% spawn rate so they shouldn't be too difficult to find especially if you have a lore on. Electabuzz can be found in the power plant. If you go to Cerulean City and go right uh, through Route 9 and onto Route 10 there's a little stream and if you jump on a Charizard or surf down and follow the stream down you'll reach the, uh, the power plant. Electabuzz is a 14% spawn rate as well, so again, it shouldn't be too difficult to find. Magmar can be found in the Pokemon Mansion on Cinnabar Island. Again, it can be found in every floor and is a 14% spawn rate, apart from on floor 4F for some reason, where it's a 10% spawn rate. Um, I'd recommend the entrance hall. It's quite a big, long area where you get a lot of spawns, and once again, shouldn't be too difficult to find them, really. So each of them can be a little bit of a pain in the ass to catch, but to be honest it didn't take me more than an hour per Pokemon to catch enough for 200 candies, which I then added to the Pokemon and then trained them up to around level 60 in Cerulean Cave. Well I did slightly overshoot it, but you know, it's alright. In terms of movesets, with Jinx I went for Protect, Toxic, Taunt and Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball obviously because it's super effective. Uh, taunt because the master trainer's Pokemon knows Lovely Kiss, which will put us to sleep and then Dream Eater to, to deal some pretty decent damage. So Taunt will stop it from being able to use Lovely Kiss and trap it into only using attacking moves. I was originally going to do this with my Jinx, but it learns Lovely Kiss at level 35, my Jinx was level 45 and I didn't have any heart scales to teach it to it. So I instead went for Protect and Toxic to maybe try and do a little bit of Toxic stalling as well. So with Electabuzz I went for Reflect, Fire Punch, Thunder Punch and Psychic. Reflect because I know the opponent knows Fire Punch so we can try and reduce some of that damage. Fire Punch for ourselves as well to try and get a burn on the opponent. Thunder Punch because well, it's, I guess it's kind of Electabuzz's signature move and it's just, it's just cool. And uh, Psychic to try and deal some good damage as well. Finally, with Magma, I went for Protect, Psychic, Toxic, and Fire Punch. Psychic to, again, deal some decent damage. Toxic to obviously poison the opponent. I coupled that with Protect, not necessarily for Toxic stalling, but I wanted to use uh, Protect predominantly for trying to block the opponent's Confuse Ray to avoid hitting ourselves in confusion. Um, and then I taught it Fire Punch for, I guess, the same reason I taught Electabuzz Thunder Punch, just because it's a cool move for Magma to have. And on to the Master Trainers. So Jinx's Master Trainer is called Psychic Avery. She can be found in Cerulean City. You have to hop on a flying Pokemon just to get over the fence. And she's just standing next to the stream opposite the entrance to Cerulean Cave. The Jinx battle went really well. Taunt worked beautifully. Uh, we managed to get a Toxic on as well and poison the opponent. And Shadow Ball also just worked a treat. And we came out the other side with the Jinx Master title. Electabuzz's Master Trainer is called Scientist Levi, who is really creepily hidden away down the side of the power plant for some reason. The Electabuzz battle went really well as well, Thunder Punch basically did the job for us and we managed to finish it off with a Thunder Punch, which I think on its own earns us the title.
finally, Magma's Master Trainer is called Ace Trainer Jace. She is on the first floor of the Pokemon Mansion. If you go through the entrance hall and turn right, she's in a little room off to the side there. So with the Magma battle, we did actually get really lucky. Uh, Toxic did most of the work for us. We did hit with a few sidekicks as well. But I realized the Master Trainer actually has a really good moveset. Because if you take damage from Toxic and Fire Spin, and also hit yourself out of confusion on the same move. That's a lot of damage that you're taking. Uh, but like I said, we did get really lucky. Magma was confused at one point, but it didn't hit itself all out of confusion. It snapped out of confusion really quickly. Uh, they didn't get a fire spin on us. Magma did get poisoned at one point, but it was a little bit too little too late. And we did come out the other side with the Magma Master title. And thank you so much again for watching this video. I really enjoy making these and I am going to continue this series. I really want to finish it and I really want to finish it before Sword and Shield comes out. So I'm going to start trying to produce them a little bit quicker. And my face wasn't in this one like it was in the last one. Um, I think I am going to do that every now and again, probably with the shorter ones, but not for every video. Um, but thank you again and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.